Alright guys, today I want to talk about how powerful I think code is actually right now. First thing that I do want to point out, as of right now, no one really knows how strong code is. We just have a couple of baselines to give us the direct vicinity of exactly how powerful code can actually be. Now the first baseline that we did get from code is the fact that code was stronger than Delta. This right here, in my opinion, was definitely not a surprise to me because I had originally thought that Delta would be one of the weaker members of the Kata organization and I was proven correct. Of course it's going to be stronger than Victor, of course it's going to be stronger than Diva, but of course Delta is the upper echelon tier of the Kata organization and it was confirmed by Amato that code is actually stronger than Delta. Now not only that in the Boruto anime which is why I think the Boruto anime is definitely very important to watch for the people who are only manga only but regardless in the Boruto anime it was also confirmed that code is stronger than Boro. Now of course I do want to point out it's not 100% confirmed but I'm going to say a solid 95% confirmed. Amato said he wants to pretty much do maintenance on Boro Malum because he wants to see if Boro was the quote unquote traitor in the Kata organization. And he sent Code out on a mission to actually retrieve Boro. When Code got to where Boro was, he pretty much pulled up to Boro and said, Yo, come back to the hideout for some maintenance. And Boro didn't necessarily want to do it. Then Code pretty much threatened him and said, Yo, I'm going to force you to come back if you don't come back willingly. And of course, Boro didn't necessarily have anything to say against that. Boro 100% complied. Now, that right there implies to me that Code is actually strong than Boro. Now, we've seen how strong Boro is. He basically fought against Team 7 plus Kawaki. That Team 7 plus Kawaki, I do want to point out, is not a regular Genin group. And not only that, technically the only reason why Boro did actually lose that fight is because Momoshiki took over Boruto's body. But more relevant to this conversation, I don't think that Boro will be able to defeat either Naruto or Sasuke right now in a 1v1. Now, I do want to point out, it would not necessarily be a very easy battle for either Naruto and Sasuke because they were quote unquote nerfed. But regardless, I still do believe that Naruto and Sasuke were able to 1v1 Boro, but we also know that there is a cap to Code's power as well. He is not stronger than Jigen because of the fact that he was actually enabled with the limiter to make him less stronger than Jigen. I don't necessarily expect him to be equal to Jigen Melon because that right there would be extremely counterproductive to Jigen Melon because if they were just equal in strength, the hierarchy that Jigen would have wouldn't necessarily be that substantial over a character like Code's. So in my opinion, he's a good amount weaker than Jigen. So to pretty much bring everything to a conclusion of how strong I think Code actually is. He's stronger than Delta, he's stronger than Boro, but he's weaker than Jigen. I think prior to Sasuke losing his Renegon and prior to Naruto actually losing Kurama, I think it would be a no-brainer. They'd definitely be able to kill Code. And in fact, if I were to compare Code to an actual character of the Boruto series, I would say he's slightly weaker than Momoshiki Otsuki, the final form of Momoshiki Otsuki. And we understand fully that Naruto and Sasuke, if they were 100% full power, would have easily taken care of Momoshiki in that particular situation without the help of Boruto and without the help of the other five Kage. Obviously, Naruto and Sasuke were both weakened in that fight, Milam, because Naruto got damn near half of the nine tails stolen from him even before the fight, and Sasuke had to teleport a lot of people to that dimension, which naturally takes up a lot of chakra from Sasuke. So in this particular situation, do I believe that Naruto and Sasuke would be able to defeat Cold in present time? I personally think so. Now, of course, a lot of people have gotten their confidence with Naruto and Sasuke absolutely rocked mainly because they did lose the Kurama and the Renegon, respectively. But the situation that I personally believe, I think Sage 6 past Naruto and just flat out Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan Sasuke is still very elite. And not only that, a power that I personally believe Cold is not necessarily going to be able to dominate. Now, again, I might be wrong. Cold might be able to actually edge over Naruto and Sasuke, but I am going to say this right now 100%. If Naruto and Sasuke are not able to defeat Cold, it would definitely be an extremely close battle. I would kind of compare it to Jigen versus Naruto and Sasuke, even though for Ishiki Otsuki specifically, it wasn't necessarily a hard fight, mainly because he himself wasn't necessarily feeling the pain. It was the vessel of Jigen that was feeling the pain, but regardless, we understand that the body of Jigen literally barely escaped that battle, and he had to leave Sasuke and Naruto alive, mainly because his body was literally about to break down. I personally believe if Cold would actually come out of that fight alive, he'd be in the exact same condition that Jigen was actually in as well. And I personally believe a three-man team of Naruto and Sasuke plus another elite ninja would 100% be able to beat Cold. Now here comes the nuance. This is the story of Boruto and I'm pretty sure the Boruto writers especially Kishimoto would not want Naruto and Sasuke to get this shine as well and especially since Boruto, Kawaki, Mitsuki and Sada were also training in the last chapter I personally believe that they are going to have some sort of hand in a potential battle versus Cold. Now not only that it also gets extremely complicated when you bring it to the aspect that Ida will also be in the battle as well. One of her abilities is extremely powerful and Ida could literally just be like a human body shield and actually protect Cold 
code and let code get the upper advantage on naruto and sasuke in a potential battle like that i personally believe that she's probably going to be one of the biggest things in the way of us actually defeating code but before i sign out of this video i do want to ask you guys some questions one of the first questions i think would be a very important one is when do you guys think this battle would actually happen i know a lot of people have been recently talking about a potential time skip that's probably going to happen this fight right here might actually happen after the time skip and i do want to point out i 100 percent think it's probably not and i'm probably gonna make a video after this video and basically talk about when i think the time skip is going to happen but i would be completely wrong if i told you guys that time skip is definitely not on the horizon and not only that i do want to ask you guys if naruto and sasuke hypothetically were to actually fight against code who do you guys think the best third option would actually be i personally believe one of the best third options would probably be shikamaru just because of the sheer fact that code is not necessarily a straight up ninja in my personal opinion i think code has a lot of secret abilities that naruto and sasuke are probably not necessarily going to 100 find out very quickly and of course you understand when it comes to intellect sasuke and shikamaru are very very equal but i personally believe that shikamaru has a slight upper hand two minds are better than one now not only that shikamaru unlike sasuke he is 100 used to winning battles not by battle strength but by his mind so on the off chance that code is actually stronger and faster than naruto and sasuke in this particular battle i personally believe that it wouldn't necessarily be that big of a deal because shikamaru and sasuke would be on the task trying to figure out a plan on how to actually stop code but let me know what you guys think it's been your boy barbie and we out Bye. it's a knife